this is very interesting. We're going to see the double Druid coming out from Tempo Storm and the double Shaman from Method Black. Who will win, the Shamans or the Druids, as we load up into game one, Method Black versus Tempo Storm? Well, I would say that Assassination Rogue and Enhancement Shaman are leaps and bounds at, uh, above right now in terms of power, as well as Balanced Druid. So bringing in a Balanced Druid to try and support, bring some utility, some long game advantage, it, it makes sense. Both of these teams are very durable. I would say that Method Black get a little bit more oomph due to that Vendetta than the side of Tempo Storm, but Tempo Storm gets Cyclones as Swapsy's caught in one and can't attack. So that Cyclone will kind of break up that advantage that Waz gets on the Assassination Rogue. Yeah, both teams really playing the meta to their advantage right now. There's a full bash over on a Chaz. Looks like Temple Storm wants to get some pressure over, rolling over on a Chaz. Alec onto the kidney shot. Waz looking to reverse it. Doesn't pull the trigger on the Vendetta just yet. You have to wait and see where he decides to use that. Is he going to wait until Alec and Jamie, they've already committed something, or is he going to use the Vendetta to force them um, into sort of a defensive position? All right, we see Botar activating Tree of Life before Vendetta from Waz, and usually Botar is a shot caller to not overcommit defensive cooldowns, but that might leave him open. They switch to him. They force his Trinket and Barkskin. These are not typically the trades that we see Botar making in this position. It's putting his team behind. It's creating openings. Unfortunately, Waz also not opting to run with Smoke Bomb. It would be a great opportunity to go after Jamie in this position as he's used his stone form. He can't shrink it for another 20 seconds. Pull him, overextend him, and Smoke Bomb him, but that option this is not on the table. They've managed to get a lot of defensive from Chaz, but another swap from Waz, catching Botar off guard. No control on Jamie. He's able to support. It's unlikely that they go down, but I like Method Black's effort of going after multiple targets. That's easily the best strategy against the Restoration Druid. Well, not only that, but the rest of Shaman, he's going to have more mana than the rest of Druid, especially like you said, if they are kind of all over the place. Waz in a little bit of trouble having to trade off the Cloak of Shadows. Good pressure coming in from Alec, but Alec's getting low. Botar gets interrupted. There's going to be no Iron Bark available for a little while. Alec gets into bear form, trying to be a little bit more tanky, get some off heals from Jamie as he gets swapped to in a full kidney shot. Nice pressure from Method Black. And like I was saying, uh, if this game plays out long enough, I think Method Black, they're going to have the mana advantage using that Restoration Shaman. Yeah, the Assassination Rogue is just, just really good into the meta. Strong, consistent pressure. It's good through high armor targets like a Balanced Druid or Druids in general in bear form. So Method Black have kind of crafted a late game, consistent damage monstrosity of a comp, but Waz actually gets caught in a stun with no trinket. Chaz saves the day with that earthen wall totem on 10%, allowing Waz now to recover. Would have liked to see Alec maybe save this astral power. He dumped a star surge into that earthen wall, uh, likely a waste of damage, but he's managed to build back the full astral power. Jamie caught into a kidney shot. Alec activating thorns, very well timed during a stun. Perfect timing there by Alec. That's creating a lot of spread pressure on both Swapsy and Waz. Mana not looking in favor of Botar, Chaz still has that advantage. Unless Alec gets a huge swing with Incarnation in the next 10 seconds, Method Black are developing a huge lead. Yeah, kidney shot now on Alec. Was still holding on to that Vendetta for quite some time. This is good pressure though. Botar falling behind on mana. We're not even in dampening yet, and both teams building up a lot of pressure and momentum. Jamie pulls the Ascendance. Waz has to trinket, use the evasion as well. Chaz trying to connect some heals. Doesn't have the Urban Wall Totem for a couple more seconds as they make a swap onto him. Could be in some trouble. He responds with the Ascendance to a power of healing. In the meantime, though, Method Black building up a lot of pressure against Tempo Storm. Botar having to sit in position very far away. Wants to maintain these heals onto Alec, onto Jamie, so they can continue this assault onto Method Black. Usually as a Restoration Druid, you're running that Tree of Life when you're expected to die during an all-in. But Method Black have consistent damage as well as all in. So all this Tree of Life is really doing for Botar is costing him more mana. He loses the Cultivation or Soul of the Forest to get the more consistent mana efficient heals. This Incarnation available for Alec could pull off a ton of pressure due to the consistent damage of Tempo Storm. They force double Astral Shift. Now they've got Incarnation. If they just pop that, go after both Shamans, they can easily rot the whole team down. Alec's Incarnation needs to be the game winning play here if they want to swing momentum in their favor because Mana is not looking to be too much of an advantage for them moving forward. Alec on the back foot, though, is not finding an opening to go for that. He's wasted quite a lot of time. He could have maybe cycled into a third incarnation shortly if he doesn't pull the trigger soon. Alec's patience might not pay off. 
Yeah, Jamie into the kitty shot. No trinket, no astral shift. A lot of damage on to Jamie. Votar doesn't have the iron bark to pick him back up as well. At the black, they have great offense right now, as well as a solid defense. I noticed both Swapsy and Waz are running the Zalzax Veiled Eye. They know. They just need to live, and they will eventually win, because Chaz's mana is basically an unending battery on that Restoration Shaman. Waz getting pressure down, though. Trades out the Faint and the Cloak of Shadows as Jamie and Alex still find a lot of pressure and momentum with that incarnation. Botar snuck away and got a drink and almost tied his mana. Alec has that incarnation rolling and Waz tried to deny it by blinding him. Alec, I think, made the right decision and trinkets that blind. This incarnation needs to be a high value one. This is their win condition or at least a force spirit link totem. One of the big cooldowns moving into dampening. Unfortunately, Alec isn't getting a kill. He isn't getting the spirit link totem. That incarnation didn't get anything done really other than Waz's Cloak of Shadows. So now likely he is the kill target. He still has evasion to fall back on. He needs to be careful though. He's dipping low in this position, trying to recover. No earthen wall for 19 more seconds. Chaz is buying as much time to get to that point. Botar getting some sneaky cyclones in, trying to annoy the team or bait trinkets. They managed to bait Swapsy to trinket. They get him now stun locked and pinned down, trying to move forward and chase Chaz. Botar got a drink. His man is already burning down quite quickly. Jamie caught into a stun. A lot of damage with a Wincher well timed is going to net them a kill. Good execution by Method Black in game one. Yeah, Method Black pull out. That's the main thing that the Druid is going to be bringing here. So he needs to make sure that he gets those bash into Cyclones, onto Chaz, and then uh, it's up to Jamie and Nixie trying to lock somebody down and finish them. I think Botar is playing this matchup in a quite nervous position, running Tree of Life. That just denies an all-in. He's very afraid of getting purged, as Vinruki pointed out, by running that talent. But he loses a lot of mana efficiency not running Cultivation and getting an extra heal over time effect. We see Method Black starting with Blind on Botar, opening on Nixie. We saw this strategy employed against Blizzo. Botar offs to Trinket and trade Iron Bark. Unlikely that Nixie will now go down in this position. Botar also committing Tree of Life for the Vendetta of Waz, but those cooldowns don't line up exactly. Vendetta is a faster rotating cooldown, so Botar won't have that Tree of Life. If I was to critique him, I would say that talent selection seems to be more of a choice that he's just trying to make sure that he doesn't die to an all-in, but ultimately it's not the consistent one. Yeah, Waz going to be using the Zalzax Veiled Eye once again. Swapsy has the Ascendance available, and he's most likely going to be waiting for Botar to leave that Tree of Life. So his healing does get reduced, like you were mentioning, Sid, and that's going to be another opportunity for Meta Black. Kidney Shot over onto Botar. Doesn't look like they really have found too much damage in this window. Uh, Actually oh! taking down Nixie. Vanish Sap coming in from Waz as well. Just allowing Swapsy to basically solo down Nixie. Pressure onto Jamie. Botar caught into that crowd control. That was very nice play coming from Waz. Sort of wondering what he was doing, but... I should know better than to ever question <laughs> Lord Waz. <laughs> Five-star style points from Waz, getting that sap out of kidney shot, extending the crowd control chain long enough now to force multiple defensive cooldowns from Tempo Storm. They're really on the ropes to stay in this fight. Mana basically equal at this point. Chaz stabilized with that earthen wall totem, protecting his entire team here, but they can't move outside of that circle, the dust you see it kind of getting brushed up in a circle. They have to stay inside of that to access the defensive cooldown. Nixie caught in a stun. Botar spamming out regross in the back line, but that's that's going to cost him a lot of mana. Now the lead is in favor of Method Black even more so. Yeah, Waz taking some pressure. He really is going to be that pressure point for Method Black. Temple Storm looking to abuse that. Throws a Storm Bolt over on Waz, bursting him down just a little bit. He shadow steps away over to Chaz. This is going to be allowing Swapsy to sort of be the tank that their team really needs to get out as much damage as possible. Waz, he can just get out the Groat some of his bleed damage as well as the rupture and he can just kite try to avoid as much damage as possible with the healing reduction from wound poison and that allows Swapsy to put out a lot of pressure but Botar has managed to top everyone off and you can see Botar positioning very far away trying to get out of combat sit down try to drink, regenerate some of his mana, and actually potentially have a mana lead over Chaz. I don't really like the map selection by Tempo, or actually, no, I do like the map selection for Tempo Storm because they get the big distance for Botar to get drinks. With two shamans, they have a lot of pesky totems that they can throw and deny drinks on Botar, so the big map allows him a lot of distance to get away and sort of regenerate that mana and stay in for a long game, as it is likely he'll need a lot of drinks for this match so far. Chaz cycling through his and wall totem, his entire team basically protected at this point. Swapsy seems to be the primary focus for Tempo Storm, but I would say the Warrior is working out a lot better for them than the Balanced Druid. Winter lands on Chaz, actually banks them an Astral Shift, so well-timed interrupt by Jamie allows them to start pulling themselves back into this fight. 
That yeah, was in a little bit of trouble. Fear over on a Chaz. He opts not to trinket. He does have the trinket and the spirit link available if he needs it. A lot of damage now over on a Nixie. Waz looking for some crowd control. Looking like he wants to land a cheap shot on a Botar. Potential Garot silence out of that. No, just spreading his damage on a Jamie. And oh, Nixie, nice. Botar. What? It just happened to Swapsy. They just slowly pulled ahead. Chaz. Let's see here. So Jamie is just hitting Swapsy. Nothing really on the chest. He can just free <laughs> so Jamie. Can just Jamie literally Jamie soloed, soloed, Jamie him. soloed okay. him. Maybe that's a, uh, okay. That's Relatively passive if they want to sit on their own pillar. Looks like Temple Storm. They want to get aggressive very early on. Waz lands a sap over onto Alec. Looking for Botar. If he can land a sap on Botar, that's a great start for Method Black, but looks like Botar is going to be able to avoid it. Method Black tried to get a comp advantage here, but I would say that Tempo Storm have actually spun the map pick in their own favor. They're not going to be stacked up as much. It's much easier for Botar to drink on a big map. Obviously, they need to make it to that dampening point, as it's more likely the Assassination Rogue gets a kill before dampening due to Mortal Strike effect, which reduces the effectiveness of incoming healing. The Moonkin and Enhancement Shaman don't bring that effect, but the Assassination Rogue does. Yeah, Botar is immediately going to be using his Innervate, his Iron Bark, and his Tree of Life. That wasn't even Vendetta coming in from Waz. That was actually nothing committed by Method Black. So uh, Temple Storm committing a lot of their defense early on, looking to get aggressive. But Method Black is doing quite well defensive. Everyone's 100% HP. They're going to be completely fine. And now Method Black's going to have an opportunity. They can get aggressive with this Vendetta, and Botar doesn't really have much to respond with. Yeah, Method Black employing that strategy that Zico did in the pregame. It's a, the biggest pillar in the game. So if you run circles around it, you can overextend your opponents quite easily. Uh, Botar overcommitting all of his cooldowns at the start of the game makes it me think he's playing for a really late game mana oriented strategy and maybe he doesn't think he can be punished but Waz in the meantime gets bursted down has to evasion spirit link totem method black suddenly heavily behind on defensive cooldowns the momentum from tempo storm is much higher in this match than game one yeah maybe Botar using those defensives early on just enabled his team to push in and get the sort of pressure and momentum that we see right now Kitty shot over onto Jamie. Waz is trying to throw out a little bit of peel, slow down Jamie as he seems to be the main damage dealer for their team. In terms of mana, Chaz a little bit ahead at this point in the match, and you can expect that for most of the match, Botar is going to have to try to sneak away and get those drinks to regenerate his mana a little bit later on, potentially if Temple Storm can't close this out soon. Yeah, Method Black doing the run around the pillar strategy, waiting for somebody to overextend so that they can gun them down. Alec the target for now, as he is the softest target to go after in this specific matchup. Now switching their attention to Jamie, trying to catch Botar off guard with no life bloom. He deflects. Good defense from Tempo Storm so far, but Mana is etching forward for Method Black. Alec needs a big hit here in a minute with that incarnation. It's basically up to Alec to burst down a kill in that window. If they can't get that bursty kill, I think that Method Black are going to roll away with consistent pressure. Yeah, I think definitely the consistency of Method Black's composition is going to give them the late game advantage. Chaz getting interrupted. Waz, now, Waz caught into the bash. Has no trinket. pre fainted that. The only thing keeping Waz alive was a nicely timed faint before he went into that stun. Excellently done. Shadow Step kick now onto Botar. Alec getting pressured down. Still has the bar skin in renewal. Uh, decides to trade out his thorns in order to, you know, stay a little bit more stable and pressure Waz and Swapsy down. Now full blind over onto Botar. Botar is looking like he just wants to sit it, so not going to be using his trinket. And as a result, um, Method Black loses that opportunity potentially a little bit later on in the game. Botar tried to calculate that Vendetta wasn't used. It's not worth trinketing blind automatically. Usually against a Subtlety Rogue, that is the trade that you make. But against Assassination, you want to make sure that Vendetta is the cooldown you're rotating your trinket around as they line up quite effectively, and the Assassination Rogue isn't as threatening during that downtime, but another wind shear landed by Swapsy puts Botar behind in this position, likely activates Tree of Life. Would like to see him combo it with Innervate here because he is so low on mana already, activating that Innervate. Maybe Jamie looks to purge, or maybe Chaz or Swapsy looks to purge this Innervate off, but they seem to be playing hyper defensive, looking for that late game advantage as mana is pain in their favor. Tempo Storm have been showing signs of life by going after Waz, forcing his trinkets and evasions and spirit link totems, but now enough time has elapsed that those cooldowns are available again and the advantages that they built in the early game are slowly being lost this is likely going into dampening on such a large map the way that method black are playing and if it is the case botar needs to start looking for drinks to regenerate his mana and extend the game but it's difficult to do so when swapsy and waz are doing so much damage as alec was nice solar beam actually from alec two solar beams in a row netting him a lot of momentum and creating a lot of scary moments these solar beams definitely a win condition for tempo storm yeah jamie's been able to put out a ton 
ton of pressure on Swapsy. You can see Swapsy's a little bit scared after what happened in the last game. So nicely done by Temple Storm, keeping up this pressure and momentum. Another thing that makes it difficult for Bochar to actually drink is the fact that there's two Shamans on the team of Method Black. They're able to get off those purges. Swapsy still getting low once again. Where is this damage coming from from Jamie? I don't know how he's able to put out so much damage on the Swapsy, but he's really keeping him at bay, sort of allowing Alok to survive these setups. This match, I believe he's turning the Earth in spikes. So that that basically increases the damage of physical and earth attacks. Storm strike, all your damage. That does nature damage. So every time you get that earth and spike, you just rip in with a ton of pressure. Both Enhancement Shaman's running that talent. Ascendance, more of a bursty talent. And I like that. Jamie goes for consistency. Alec brings all the bursty punch damage. And that combination together works really well. The same can be said for the Assassination Rogue. Vendetta, the big bursty punch. Swapsy brings the consistent damage. And both these teams are so threatening as a result of that. Solar Beam gets fake casted by uh, Chaz. Nice read there. That's going to allow him to recover. Now Alec on the back foot, dump, jumping into bear form to desperately try to recover. The consistent pressure, though, is so high on both sides that Botar has not been able to find an opportunity to drink and regenerate mana. It looks like he may try to escape here shortly, but if Jamie overextends, he could get pushed over the edge, and if Temple Storm don't get a drink, I think they lose the late game, so it's a gamble for them. Do they go for the mana and risk dying, or do they keep playing in center field and hope for a miracle kill? Yeah, Bochar has basically sat every single blind in this game. The last one was a full blind sap, and Alec and Jamie were able to deflect that incoming damage. Now looking for a drink. This is so critical for Temple Storm. Sat down, regenerated a little bit of his mana, but not that much. Chaz still ahead, so Method Black, if they can just hold on a little bit longer, they will ultimately win off that win condition alone. Kidney shot and over, now over on Alec, but Swapsy once again! Where is this burst coming from? Swapsy has to use his Astral Ship to deflect some of this damage. Alec, he does have the Incarnation coming up around six seconds. Temple Storm knows that they have the damage to push Method Black over the edge. Are they going to decide to sort of commit and all in with it? But if Botar is almost tapped on mana, if Method Black pulled a switch and just start purging, how is Botar going to deal with it? Right now, Swapsy needs to survive, though. Method Black needs to focus purely on defense. He's staying next to Chaz and line of sighting Alec. They need a good way to deal with the Incarnation, but Chaz burned his Ascendance. Normally, you would use Healing Tide Totem or Ascendance to deny the damage of Incarnation, but Chaz doesn't have access to either of those, and his entire team can be in trouble if Alec has a well-timed incarnation. I would like to see Temple Storm either go all in for a push and get a kill in this window, or pull completely back and try and get a drink and force them to overextend. Playing in the neutral ground midfield like this, it favors Method Black. Yeah, Botar once again, he uses his tree form, tries to top off his team, and now looking for a drink. He needs to get in a position where Waz can't just easily distract him. And Waz actually uses his Vanish, oh! gets the distract, gets the full sap, and this is an opportunity. Botar can't really trink it out of this, or he'll be susceptible to a full blind a little bit later on. There's the blind coming in from Waz. He's looking to do something if Botar trinkets. Botar is just never trinketing out of the blind in this matchup. Uh, I think it's smart as Method Black, they really didn't have the damage to take anyone down from Temple Storm. Alec pulls the trigger on Incarnation, immediately gets Cloak of Shadows, but they waited, and Chaz now has Healing Tide Totem. Healing Tide Totem very effective against this. I would have liked to seen Alec use Incarnation much sooner than this. It also stalls out the rate that he gets another one. He could have already been getting towards the fourth Incarnation at this point, but he's still stuck on the third one. He's not really maximizing his damage in this case, and finding any windows of opportunity. They need to maybe net a kill. They managed to at least pull Chaz's trinket, so this Incarnation did pay out. The next one has to win the game. Otherwise, Otherwise, Tempo Storm, it's going to be curtains. They've got basically nothing to work with. Yeah, Botar, he has to get a drink, but Method Black, they are not making it easy. Kidney shot on Jamie. He trinkets, uses the Astral Ship. This is Vendetta coming in from Waz. Alec rotting down as well. Swaps, he's forced to use his Astral Ship. Basically, every team trading out their defensive arsenal. Chaz running out of mana as well. Shadow Step kick on Botar, though. Alec could be in some trouble. Trades out Barxian and Renewal to keep himself alive. That's sort of the last line of defense that Temple Storm has. And Temple Storm, I can't really feel it. Temple Storm decides to get aggressive here. It's going to backfire on them. Yeah, right now, Earth and Wall Totem's down. So if they try to push forward, that defense should deny a kill. Looks like they're going after Chaz. Alec pre bear forms a stun, but they overlapped. The shot calling that Botar was known for is starting to fall apart here as we move deep into dampening. If they don't get a kill on Chaz yes! right now, it could have been it for them, but they managed to sneak through with just enough damage to... Yeah, now find themselves for not the first week down against Tempo Storm, facing being knocked down to that lower bracket. They have to find something if they are to prove they are the best team in Europe.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, Tempo Storm have been on the up and up so far in these cups, eliminating Method Black in the previous one. Now looking to knock them down to the lower bracket in this one. And this is the last time we'll see these teams go head to head before BlizzCon. This would be a huge momentum and confidence boost for Tempo Storm with their recently picked up Botar, who is actually running Feral Affinity against Rogue Mage Druid. Uh, Botar must think he's invincible, t picking that aggressive, almost all in talent losing the defense of the Guardian Affinity. I really hope Method Black put some pressure on Botar and try and punish him for all of these talent decisions that he makes. You can see Waz, he's going to be running the Zalzex Ve Veiled Eye once again, really favoring it. And that kind of tells you the strategy that Method Black is going for. They want to try to stall out the game like we've seen them do before. Just Waz really exploit the fact that Raikou has such powerful snares. Um, and Raikou try to capitalize on his damage as often as possible with that ice form and with the Frigid Grass. Nice setup coming in from Method Black, full blind on Botar. He trinkets out with a sheep on the Jamie. That was a nice triple CC coming in from Method Black and Botar respecting it. Trinkets, throws out the Iron Bark. That will ultimately keep Nixie alive. But he smartly and correctly waited until Waz committed Vendetta. That way his trinket lines up with not only Blind but as well Vendetta. So he makes a very nice exchange in that regard and he's doing what we saw Looney do in some of the earlier cups where he sneaks away in cat form, goes in stealth, then jumps in and pounces somebody with Rake, stunning him up and adding a lot of extra damage and they are now trying to go after Botar and punish that Feral Affinity selection, managing to strike both Tree of Life and Barkskin from Botar. The next swap to him could easily be Curtains, as Raikou has saved Ice Form, yep. one of his strongest offensive cooldowns. Botar needs to be careful. He's being really cheeky in this matchup. I mean, he's a point up. Maybe he thinks he can get away with these aggressive decisions and get, try and get an edge there, but that is the opening that Method Black needs to take advantage of. Yeah, and Raikou, like you said, he has all his damage available. They just need one kidney shot on Botar, cross CC on Jamie. Jamie really is the only one that's going to be able to keep him alive. He has his trinket and grab. Oh, he caught him. him. There it is. Kidney shot on Botar. Raikou connects. Big amount of burst incoming. Does he have the follow-up stun? Jamie trying to connect some heals. Nice Stormbolt coming in from Nixie. Botar still in so much trouble at this point. Connects the Iron Bar. Nice, nice offensive Cyclone coming in from Chaz. It's going to be freezing Botar's HP. And if Bethlehem Black can stay on target, Botar's in so much trouble. He doesn't have frenzied regeneration as he would with Guardian Affinity, so he can't just bounce his health back as easily when he gets bursted down. And if Waz can just stay on target, it could easily be the end of the match as both targets on the team of Tempo Storm dip dangerously low. Perfect swap here on Nixie, but this is not enough damage. Really? That's not enough damage to take out Nixie? That was perfectly set up by Method Black. They at least managed to pull Die by the Sword, etching them a little bit further. Now Chaz getting caught off guard. Tons of damage from Jamie. We saw him solo a kill earlier on. To maybe potentially the same here on Chaz. Method Black making all the right moves and just not able to penetrate through the defense of Tempo Storm. Yeah, kitty shot on Botar once again. Who are they going after? Nixie into the cheap shot. Raikou looking for some damage. Unfortunately, not finding the follow-up crowd control on Botar was denied there by Jamie. But Raikou, once again, he held on to all of his burst. He has a kill opportunity onto Jamie in a stun, on Nixie in a stun. Botar has his trinket. He's going to have to save that Iron Bark to deflect that Frost Mage damage that Raikou has available. Botar sneaking in to try and get some Cyclones. Wasn't able to get it. Chaz Max ranging that. We see Nixie caught in a kidney shot, but this is more of Method Black just pausing the game, trying to get their footing, figure out what they want to do. It's likely they want to get Botar's trinket with Blind moving forward, but they would like to get it without committing Vendetta. Now Chaz, though, caught in a Cyclone, Waz in a three on two. This could easily be his evasion, but he's amazingly kiting away out of line of sight and avoiding the incoming attacks until Chaz is out of crowd control. Good defensive awareness from Waz. They've pulled Iron Bark. There's no die by the sword. There's no Iron Bark. Jamie doesn't have a trinket. It blind forces Botar's trinket. Okay, now there's no trinkets on the two healers of the team of Tempo Storm. If they take those members out, Nixie has no defense. If they can set up the perfect three-on-one going towards Nixie, Method Black have that opening. Yeah, definitely Waz is going to be in some trouble, and he realizes that Jamie pulling the trigger on Ascendance, trying to get some pressure rolling for Tempo Storm at this particular point, but Method Black, they're looking for a reset. They're looking to get away right now. Botar potentially looking for a restealth once again, has been managing to find these stuns onto Method Black. Very nicely done. Now Nixie into the full kidney shot with an interrupt on the Botar. He activates the Tree of Life. Wants to get Empowered Healing out to keep Nixie in the fight as long as possible. Keep him very aggressive, and he's going to be able to do so quite easily.
Yeah, and now that's the go play here for Botar's team with Tree of Life. It's unlikely that they take almost any damage, so they need to get aggressive in their face, pressure for more mana, and, and sort of get that advantage moving into a later match. They still have a slight mana lead at this point in the game. Tempestorm still keeping their eyes open for Nixie as he's still the most vulnerable target in the matchup. Good double stun, but they need to take Jamie out of the fight. He, if he's free, he's going to easily heal Nixie, allowing Botar to sit through that crowd control. He managed to hex Raikou, disrupt that, and deny any damage. Fortunately for Raikou, He's been very patient on this ice form. He doesn't pull the trigger on it unless he knows it's the perfect situation, which he absolutely needs to do. If, if it's not lined up perfectly with all three members crowd controlled, it's almost impossible for Method Black to net a kill, especially before dampening, which has now just finally set in. Yeah, we'll have to see how that works out for him. We know Raikou likes to save the icy veins for a long period of time, but I feel like ice form on the low cooldown, it's better to just use it more often to generate or force the other team to use defensives because it is such a crazy amount of damage that the Frost Mage has available. Just holding on to it the whole game, I don't think that's necessarily the best use. All right, at this point, Chaz getting Cyclone chained by Botar, and as a result, managed to force Cloak of Shadows and Evasion from Waz. So Botar's aggressive talent decision, he's definitely been utilizing it quite effectively. Although it is normally easily punished, he is maximizing it and forcing cooldowns that his team otherwise would not have been able to get. So very cheeky but well-earned pressure from Botar in this matchup. And if he can get away with that aggressive decision moving into dampening, I think it's going to be curtains for Method Black. Yeah, Chaz now taking a little bit of damage from Nixie and Jamie. He gets caught into the bash. Barkskin's going to be traded out. Botar been playing very aggressive in this matchup. I really like to see this. But there's a full cheap shot on the Botar. Raikou, can you get the polymorph? Fortunately, not going to be able to find it. Now Chaz is the one that's in a little bit of trouble. Jamie's all over him. Nice Vortex going to make sure that Chaz stays alive. Tops himself off. Good crowd control from Method Black to sort of stall out the game and allow um, Chaz to recover, keep everyone topped off. Waz now, he has the Vendetta, pulls the trigger on a Nixie. Kidney shot, no trinket available. He's not going to be able to get out of it, but Botar is able to just free heal. Nixie trades out the die by the sword. Temple Storm is going to be completely fine. We move it into 12% dampening. Botar actually, but I think, looking for a drink. No, he's just looking to get out of combat at 50% mana. Chaz behind, so if Temple Storm can keep this up, they're looking good. Yeah, Botar keeps getting the cat form, jumping in stealth and getting these rake stuns and trying to get aggressive. Raikou lands a counter spell, trying to create an opening here. Botar doesn't care. He's just going to jump over and stun Waz. He pre fainted it. Well done by Waz. That might be the only thing that potentially keeps him alive in this position as he falls dangerously low. Chaz covers with Iron Bark. Now getting cloned up though. Botar doing everything in his power to do what he can for his team to get aggressive and get a kill, but even with these aggressive plays, it's just not enough to push them over the edge as we move deeper into dampening. Jamie running Ascendance but gets blinded on it, so even Waz now forced to use blind defensively to hang on for a late game. They managed to sneak in a Polymorph. It's a 2-1-1 on onto Nixie with no die by the sword. This is the exact situation they need, but they can't keep the chain going. Jamie disrupts it with the Grounding Totem. Botar now can easily bounce back with Tree of Life and Tempo Storm's teamwork has, has looks almost unbeatable. A well-timed Cyclone here on Nixie pauses his health for a few moments, allowing them potentially opportunity to crowd control Botar off the back of it, but they don't have it. Now Nixie recovers. Botar's in cat form. He's ready to add a little bit of extra damage to his team. They switch off of Waz to Chaz, try and catch him off guard, but not enough damage to take him out, I don't believe. Now Nixie under fire. Tons of damage. No Iron Bark, no die by the sword, but Jamie easily backing him up with some extra healing surges. Jamie getting polymorphed away. The mana leads slowly but surely getting more so in favor of Tempo Storm. And these rake stuns from Botar could net them be the game winning play, really. It, it was a risky decision, but if deep in dampening, Botar gets one of those stuns. Waz doesn't make it out alive. It, it, I'm kind of wondering if Botar is a feral druid at this point in the game with how aggressive he's been. Jazz gets caught into the stun. Jamie able to connect. Nice polymorph coming in, though, from Raikou. Going to be able to keep him alive as they make a swap over onto Nixie. No trinket available. A lot of burst damage available for Method Black. This is the ice form. Botar has his trinket available, but can't really trinket out just yet. Doesn't want to be susceptible to that full blind. There's a kidney shot on a Nixie. A lot of incoming damage. Botar does hit, and he doesn't have the iron bark. This is actually big trouble for Nixie. Jamie has to connect the heals. Ultimately finds a few on Nixie. He's going to be able to stabilize. Nixie now wants to get aggressive with his avatar. Get on target. There's a full storm roll over on the Wazi. Faints it nicely done. Trinkets out as well. Into the bash though. All three members of Temple Storm looking to close out this game. Waz shadow steps away defensively. Can he make it out of this alive? 
All right, well, Haas, what are you going to do? Evasive maneuvers as he kidney shots Nixie, Raikou, Polymorphs, Jamie that control the whole team and allow Waz to escape behind the pillar. But Botar is actually the first one to make it to Waz. Botar, with that Feral Affinity, does act as a DPS member, and it makes sense with how durable the composition is going for a talent that gets you more damage and gets you more bursts. So it's a good adaptation by Botar, realizing how durable his composition is in the meta. This aggressive pick allows his team more damage. Well-placed wind shear here on Shaz. Waz will dip low as a result, procking that Zelzak availed eye trinket he's not going to have that shield moving forward the momentum is completely in favor of tempo storm we are now deep in dampening they are behind on mana they are behind in cooldowns they are behind on pressure it's 45 seconds away from any sort of opportunity to swing back tempo storm merely have to push in at this point to finish them yeah was still in a lot of trouble botar gets caught into the kidney uh, Method Black looking to punish Botar for being this aggressive. Activates the Bark Skin. There's the DR Bash. Do they have the damage to push him over the edge? Jamie not in crowd control, able to assist with some heals. Bark Skin's going to keep Botar alive as he looks to make an escape. Oh. But still good pressure coming in from Raikou. Botar finally gets away, but Waz all over him at this point. Iron Bark almost available. Botar needs to top himself alive. This is such a scary moment for Tempo Storm. I mean, he doesn't have Guardian Affinity. He's just, oh, he caught him out of form. Nixie tries to back him up. That intimidating shout's the only thing, but Evan Bolt on the back of it. He iron barks in between the stun lock. That might be enough for Botar to hang on. His Tree of Life, an no way! takes him down. He's spamming at those regrows, trying to stay in his fight. He would like to innervate, but he doesn't have the global. He's just spamming at regrows. Botar manages to stay alive. Now they can lead forward and get aggressive. Double stun, Chaz Trinkets. He's desperately trying to keep Waz into this fight, but the mana is so far in favor of Tempo Storm. Luckily, Waz has Vendetta. He catches Botar. Is he gonna go all in? It looks like he's reluctant to do so, but he pulls the trigger on it. It's all or nothing. Botar has to go down at this point, but if he doesn't, it's likely that Method Black will lose. <laughs> They've got good crowd control on Nixie. They need to look to rotate that over to Jamie. This Vendetta is not going to net them a kill. Dampening is ramping up to immense power at this point. How much longer can Chaz keep this up? The Botar's in cat form once again. He really does not respect the damage coming in from Method Black. That was such a scary moment. Botar just uh, millimeters away from dying. Jamie and Nixie playing perfectly to keep him alive. Iron Bark going to be committed now by Botar. Actually, it fades. Was in a lot of trouble, though, having to run away. We have 42% dampening in this matchup. Both Druids going to continue to struggle, and Raikou needs to build some pressure for his team with the Ice Was, Was, Was in execute great. range, though. Doesn't have anything. Trying to kite away. Uh -huh. Jamie looking to close out this game. The Botar wants to get aggressive, wants to land the crowd control, and Chaz. Chaz gets interrupted. Raikou spamming out the Polymorphs. Everything he can. Chaz reconnects to was able to top him off, but this is so scary for both teams. I thought for sure that Rake stun on Chaz was going to close the game up, but Waz, once again, with evasive maneuvers, keeps himself alive in the fight. Now caught in a storm bolt. Nixie gets polymorphed away. Die by the sword was traded out a bit preemptively by Nixie. As dampening ramps up, it becomes difficult to manage these cooldowns. You often need to trade them just to make a final push, but in that case, Nixie's push didn't pay off. Now he's a massive open target for Method Black. Should they be able to extend the match just a little bit longer? But Botar, once again, with that Feral Affinity gunning down for Chaz, all three members dogpiling on Chaz. Intimidating shot on Waz. It's so deep into dampening. Will Chaz be able to handle this is the question. Dimension returns Stormbolt's sharpened blade. Tons of damage, but they managed to lock Jamie out of the fight long enough that Chaz is slowly but surely escaping out of line of sight. Jamie moves in. Botar City, he re -stealths. He's got huge damage in tempo. Storm walk away once again against Method Black 3-1. Botar played that game so insane, really showing why he is a two-time BlizzCon champion. He just had so much confidence. See here, Botar wanting to prove a point on Broadcaster. He is by far and away the best druid in the world. I have no idea, honestly, how he does it, but Botar, he stays alive time and time again. And I, honestly, I think a, a little bit of that comes down to Jamie and Nixie as well. There was one moment there towards the end where he got kidney shot outside of form at about 20%, and Nixie came in and pulled a page out of Blizzo's book, essentially, to save him. But uh, there's definitely a lot of confidence. At the start of Championship Sunday, two of the best teams, Tempo Storm, bringing out Botar in that series, in this tournament, will go up against the team that won the previous tournament. Definitely going to be something to watch, but of course, today we still have our lower bracket, we've got our elimination series, we have to see who's going to go up to rival them, making a movie versus the leader. Feed versus the fake Zebras, we're all tied up, one and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered, in the middle of history, the longest series that has ever been played.
in battle for Azeroth. 